Hello. Hi, Ramon. Ramon? Anna Carolina? Anna Carolina? Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Hello, welcome to class. Hello, welcome Thank you. Thank you. Uh, German, hello. Hi, Stephanie. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, welcome to class. Thank you. All right. And Ramon. Ramon. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good, good. Um, all right. And Ramon, where are you from? I am from Brazil. From Brazil. Um, yeah. Great. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to class. Thank you. All right. Great. Um, so we should have a few more people joining us, but we will start. Um, this is a pronunciation class um, where we watch a clip from the TV show Friends um, and then practice sounding more native-like um, by acting out the scene. Um, we'll be focusing on areas of pronunciation such as intonation um, and special emphasis, um, reductions and connections, um, sentence stress, all of that stuff. Uh, what are known as the supra-segmentals of pronunciation. Um, you'll also learn some unique vocabulary, some slang, um, and some cultural things as well. Um, and hopefully have lots of fun. Uh, this should be a fun way to practice pronunciation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share the link. Uh, I will let you know I'm a little bit behind um, getting the script prepared today, so I'll be tweaking it as we work. Uh, but there's a link to our document, our script. Um, what we will do, um, first we'll kind of preview the scene. Then we will watch the scene. Um, and then we're going to um, kind of do a dry read and then get into pronunciation. Um, and you'll act it out. So let's get to it. Um, is anyone here not familiar with the TV show Friends? Okay. Um, good. Hopefully everyone's familiar with it. Um, however, you don't need to be an expert. Um, I'm actually not. In fact, in this scene today, I'm a little confused by something from the show. So, uh, Even if you don't know the show, uh, you will benefit from this class. Um, but here's the show. Here's our characters. Phoebe, Joey, Monica, Ross, Rachel, Chandler. Um, and here's our summary for the scene. Uh, let's have Anna Carolina, will you read that for us? Sure. <clears throat> the one with the two parts, <clears throat> Chandler and Joe, Michi. Ursula, Phoebe's twin sister. Joey begins dating Ursula, but that she bothers Phoebe, who doesn't get along with her sister very well. Ross attends Lame's class with Carol and Susan. Carol isn't sure she can go through with the delivery. Ross realizes he's really good to, to be a father. Chandler can't Bear to fire, fire an employee he's attracted to. So he started to date her and tells everyone else she's mentally unbalanced. So it isn't safe to fire her. She begins to notice people 
treating her oddly, so Chandler has to come clean. Ross has trouble con controlling his monkey, Marcel, who switches Monica's TV into Spanish mode. No one can figure out how much to switch it back. Mr. Heckles uh, could have cats. Jamie and Friend from Mad About You make an appearance in Central Park. Park. I guess it's Park. Uh, Rachel finally get, gets around to talking to take it down. I'm sorry, to take it down the Christmas lights, but falls off the balcony in the process and ends up hanging upside down outside Mr. Reckles' window. Wonderful. Thank you for reading that uh, kind of a long summary today. Um, a lot happening in this episode. A um, couple things. Let's see. This will come up a little bit in the scene. Um, but most of our scene is going to be in Lama's class. Uh, Lama's is a class where you learn about childbirth. Um, I guess it is named after someone. Um, so it is pronounced Lamaz. Um, let's see. I had one other note. Um, oh, yeah. This actually is Perk. Um, this is a play on words on Central Park. So this is a coffee shop that is right by Central Park um, and perk is short for percolate which is what coffee does um, when you make coffee it's called percolating and when it brews I think another percolate um, so that's just a little pun also this is not a real coffee shop <laughs> So don't come to New York and try to find it. All right. Um, this is just to set a little bit of the background. Um, but I do have... It's really important to know that Ross, this guy, Ross used to be married to Carol, but Carol became a lesbian and divorced Ross. Um, Carol is now with Susan. Um, and so that's kind of the situation. I am a little confused. Maybe one of you can help me, but I forget why is Ross the father? Because he's not, right? She went to a hospital and used a sperm donor, I thought. Does anyone know the answer to that? Not really important, as long as we all understand that Carol used to be married to Ross. Now she is with Susan. All right. Um, this scene has basically three main characters, Ross, Susan, and Carol, um, but we also have the Lamaz teacher. Uh, we're going to start by watching the scene on YouTube. Um, so let's go open the YouTube app. And uh, we'll watch all together. Uh, let me say hello to Josie. Hi. Welcome to class. How are you today? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, where are you from? Sao Paulo, Brazil. Great. Great. Wonderful. Um, all right. Glad you're here. All right. Open that YouTube app. We're going to watch together. Uh, the link is in the Google Doc in case you have trouble, um, but hopefully you won't. Uh, remember, if you click anything while we're watching the YouTube app, it will restart for everyone.
<laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Um, all right, so that is the scene we will act out. Um, and we'll all play different parts. Um, we're just going to read through it once, all together. Uh, and then we'll go over some pronunciation. Uh, we'll watch one more time to listen. And then we will perform. Um, all right, so let's hand out parts. Um, let's see. I will be the woman. She just has the one line. I think the teacher has more lines. Um, let's have Josie, will you be the teacher, please? Okay. Great. Um, German, Herman, you'll be Ross. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. Great. Um, Anna Carolina, you'll be Carol. And Ramon, um, you will be Susan. How's that? Okay. All right, so we are just going to read through the script and get f familiar with the words. Um, so let's uh, just go ahead. I'm going to start. Everyone ready? Here we go. Hi, we're the Rostens. Er, I'm JC, and he's Michael, and we're having a boy and a girl. Good for you. All right, next. Hey, uh, I'm uh, I'm Ross Geller, and uh, uh, that's Car that that's that's my boy in there, and um, this is Carol Willick, and this. It's Susan Bunch. Susan is a um, girl just come. Who's next? I'm sorry, I didn't get Susan Miss. Susan is Carol's, Carol's, Carol's friend. Life partner. Like buddies. Like lovers. You know how close women can get. Susan and I live together. Although I was married to her. Carol, not me. Err, uh, right. It's a little complicated. A little. But we're fine. Absolutely. So, twins, huh? That's like two birds. Ouch. <laughs> and scene. All right. Nice job, everyone. Just a quick read through to get familiar with the words um, and our roles. Um, so at this point, let's take questions. Um, are there any questions on any of the vocabulary or um, jokes or anything else? Both. Say it again. Both. Oh, bulge. Um, it's Carol. Yeah, let's do a. That's a good word. Good image. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Actually, not. <laughs> well, it's a good image. A bulge is like a protruding. Um, uh, let's look at a bulging stomach, maybe. <laughs> um, there. A bulge is this lump or this outward protruding area. This would be a bulge, not a bulge. Bulge. <laughs> good question and good work. Other questions? This can also be a verb, to bulge. Uh, the bag is bulging with basketballs. And what does it mean as a verb? Um, as a verb, it means to um, to stick out, uh, to stick out in a rounded way. If something is bulging, um, it's very, very full to the point where it's being pressed out. Kind of like stuffed, or to stuff. Good. Other questions?
All right, great. Um, yeah. I, I, I still don't get it because um, um, he called a person a boy and you and you and you 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 showed a picture of a belly mm -hmm. and and then you you said it means stuffed him why did he, he call her about it? um because she's pregnant so there if something is bulging or a bulge there's the idea that something else is inside of it causing it to push out. Um, so this is a really good word for a pregnant stomach. Um, let's look at um, um, let's look at a bulging bag. There, here this bag is bulging. Um, this is a hard one to put a definition on, but the idea is that something inside is causing an outward protrusion. Actually, let's grab a it's a hard one to put exact words on. A rounded swelling or protuberance that distorts a flat surface. <laughs> so something that would be flat, uh, that is rounded or swelling, usually because something is inside it or causing it. Good question. Does that help? Yes, now it's clear. Thank you very oh. much. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, any other questions? All right, let's give it a try. Oh, no, Ramon left. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's switch then. Um, Susan has more lines. So, Josie, will you be Susan, please? Okay. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This is the pronunciation part. Um, each of you will read your part, and I will give specific pronunciation tips uh, where applicable. Uh, we'll skip that. That's my line. I'll be the teacher. Um, good for you. All righty. Next. Um, so, Germán, go ahead with Ross's first line. Hi, um, I'm, uh, I'm Ross Geller, and uh, uh, that's that's my boy in there. And uh, this is Carol Wick Willick, and this is Susan Bunch. Susan is Carol's just come. Who's next? Excellent, excellent. Uh, I don't know why this. I just want to change that. To, um. Um, all right, your embarrassment is very good. Um, good pausing, very nervous. Uh, the nervousness, embarrassment is coming across very clearly. Um, let's look at this, just this small phrase. Um, I just want to put a little bit of special emphasis on boy, because I think he's got a little bit of pride when he's saying, that's, that's my boy in there. Okay. Um, that's that's and my boy in there. And okay. Ah, there you go. <laughs> nope, you got it. Great. Um, <laughs> good. So that will will help kind of shorten the that's and add a little element of pride. Um, great. Teacher is next. That'll be me for this read through. So Herman again. Susan is Carol's 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 friend. Life partner. Good. Uh, <laughs> good, good. Oh, wait. Well, there is, this is pretty simple, and your pronunciation was good, but I want to hear a little bit longer pause. Um, so in your head, you can count like a second at each comma. Susan is Carol's, Carol's, Carol's. Friend. Okay. Susan is Carol's 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 friend. 
Excellent. Very nice. It might feel slow to you, but it sounds really good. Uh, all right. Ana Carolina. Life partner. Good. And I like how you were ready. Um, this is a very quick exchange. Uh, so Carol corrects him. Um, great. Back to Ross. Like buddies. Great. Uh, no comment. Suzanne. Like lovers. Good. And we're going to use some special emphasis here because Susan is correcting Ross, right? And he's already been corrected once. Here Carol corrects him. He says something else that's incorrect. And Susan corrects him again, so she's a little bit stronger. Um, and she says, like lovers. Like lovers. Great, great. Nice. So lots of emphasis on that stressed syllable. Um, great. Herman? You know how close women can get. Good. Um, and we have another s case of special emphasis on close. Uh, he's trying to explain this unusual thing. Uh, he's trying to explain that away by saying a common, something common that women do. You know how close women can get. Um, you know how close women can get. Nice, nice. That sounds really good. Uh, often we shorten you know to you know, but in this case we really won't. Um, because this is kind of a side comment from a, to the teacher. You know how close women can get. Um, all right, Anna Carolina. Susan and I live together. Good, good. Nice reduction on that. You probably knew I was going to say let's reduce that and to just N. Uh, we'll practice it once. Susan and I live together. Susan and I live together. Very nice. So there is a really quick short vowel there. Sounded great. Back to Herman. Although I was married to her. Good. And we're going to do a little more special emphasis here. Uh, he's trying to bring attention to the fact that he, w he was married, so he emphasizes I. Although I was married to her. Although I was married to her. Nice. And we'll reduce that a little bit. To her, to her. Um, actually, that H kind of falls away. Let's do this one more time. Although I was married to her. Although I was married to her. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, that H can fall away completely even. I was married to her. Carol, um, not me. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um, and let's put a little special emphasis there, because again, she's clarifying. Um, and pause a little longer on your comma. Carol, not me. Carol, not me. Great, sounds good. Uh, right. Perfect, I wouldn't change a thing. Anna Carolina? It's a little complicated. Good. Um, what do I really don't think I have much on that. It's a little complicated. It's a little complicated. Let's just see where's our stress. It's a little complicated. I think this will be our primary stress. Uh, it's a little complicated. It's a little complicated. Good. Sounds good. Back to Ross. A little. Good. But we are fine. Excellent. Great. Um, and you can reduce this even more to just we're. 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 Yeah. But we're fine. But we are fine. Nice. And Ross, your last line? Absolutely. So twins. Eh. That's like two birds. Ouch. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, funny. Right there. Great. I want to just change the spelling. This is kind of like a... So twins, huh? The vowel is in between a ah uh, and a uh. uh. So, so twins, huh? Okay. So twins, huh? Nice and really nice intonation. Stephanie. Yeah. I'm always back. Oh, good. Oh, he, thank he, you for joining. He's here about she, uh, 12 minutes. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, Ramon, welcome back. I'm so sorry. I was over in the script. Um, Ramon, you're going to be the teacher, okay. so we're going to have you run your lines really quick. Um, will you read the teacher's line here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me come back there just to say. Mm, good for you. All right, next. Good, great. Um, let's shorten this. This is going to sound like fur. Um, so this whole line will sound like good for you. All righty. Next. Uh -huh. uh, good for you. All righty. Next. Great. Um, and your other line is going to be this one. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't get it. Susan is... Mm, I'm sorry. I didn't get it. Uh, Susan is... Great, great. Um, good, and I really don't have any comments on that line. It sounded good. All right, everyone. Um, we have rehearsed, um, but we are going to watch the clip one more time so that you can listen uh, for those changes I gave you. Um, all right, so, and I promise Josie and Ramon, in the next scene, you'll get bigger parts, too. Um, all right, so <laughs> let's go ahead one more time back to that scene. Uh, in, open your YouTube app. Here we go. It's only a minute long. If I can get my YouTube app to open. Hmm. In there. And uh, this is Carol. We're the Rostons. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love that ouch at the end. Um, okay. You've heard and practiced your lines. Um, so we are going to get ready for the final performance. Everyone on your marks. Um, or that's not what we say. That's a race. Uh, a director says, places, please. Lights, camera. Action. Hi, we're the Rostons. Er, I'm JC, and he's Michael, and we're having a boy and a girl. Ramon. Me? Yeah. <laughs> um, good for you. Alrighty, next. 
hey, um, I'm um, I'm Ross Geller, and uh, um, that's that's my boy in there, and um, this is Keller Willick, and this is Susan Bunch. Susan is Carol's test. Um, who's next? I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Uh, Susan is. Susan is Carol's 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 friend. Life partner. Like buddies. Like lovers. You know how close women can get. I said, can you hear me? Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear it. Sorry. Can you just say it again? I'm sorry. Susan and I live together. Hello. I was married to her. Carol, not me. All right. It's a little complicated. A little. But we're fine. Absolutely. So twins. <laughs> Next night, two birds. Ouch. <laughs> and, and scene. Uh, excellent. Very nice, everyone. Um, <laughs> very good acting. Um, and very enjoyable scene. Uh, any com comments? Any comments or questions? All right. So. Um, <laughs> Our next scene is related, um, and we're still in Lama's class. This is a longer scene, so we're going to do it a little differently, because um, I do want to be able to finish the scene in this class today. Um, we have basically the same characters. Um, oh, actually, this is kind of two scenes. I forgot. So the first part. We're in the Lamaze class with the same characters. Um, the second part, we add Rachel and Chandler and Phoebe and Joey. We have more of the friends. Um, let's look at how we'll do this. We're going to watch the scene first, um, but we're, we're all going to act it out together. One or two of you might need more than one role. Um, Let's watch first, Oops. and then we'll we'll assign roles, and we'll just uh, get to it. All right. So one more time back to the YouTube app. Uh, let me say hello to Vo. Hello. Hello. Welcome to class. How are you today? Yes. Uh... Good. We're we're glad you're here. OK, everyone, go to the YouTube app. Let's watch our second scene. It's called I'm Going to Be a Father. Here we go.
<laughs> All right. So that is our next scene. Kind of two scenes in one. All right. Let's look at parts. Um, I think, Anna Carolina, I'd like to keep you as Carol. Um, but we're also going to add, uh, let's add Phoebe. So I want to hear you as Carol, but you're also going to be Phoebe in the second part. Herman. Um, let's see. We're going to switch you. You're going to be Joey. Okay, so you will be Joey in this scene. Josie, you are going to be Susan in the first part, and you will also be Rachel in the second part. Okay. Okay. And, oh no, Bo left and so did Ramon. We need people. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so we're going to have, um, Herman, you're going to be Ross and Joey. Yeah, they don't talk to each other. That'll work. You'll be Ross and Joey. I'll be... That leaves me as the teacher. I think that's it. Does everyone have two parts? All right, and if if they come back, um, we'll assign them a part. But I think we've got everyone taken care of. I'll be the teacher in Chandler, it looks like. Um, so we're going to do, again, a read-through, but we're going to do the pronunciation practice and the read-through um, together, uh, just in the interest of time. Um, and also, let's please ask questions as we're going through this. Any questions? All right, so we start with the video, and the video says, A sound mom and dad never forget, for this, after all, is the miracle of birth. Lights, please. And that's having a baby. Next week is our final class. All right, Herman, go ahead. Susan, go deep. Um, Susan, go deep. Susan, go deep. Nice, very nice. That's our primary stress. Good. Uh, anyone know what this means or refers to? Good. This is a sports phrase. Uh, specifically in American football. Um, go deep means like move back. I'm going to throw the ball very far. So move back. Um, great. Anna Carolina. This is impossible. It's just impossible. Good. Uh, just impossible. Um, it sounded pretty good. Let's just Add a little bit more stress on the primary stress syllable. This is impossible. It's just impossible. This is impossible. It's just impossible. Nice. Sounds really good. Josie. What's on me? What's that you, woman? Gigi, I'm not doing that. It just have gonna to stay in. That's all. Everything will be the same. It will just stay in. Good, good. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have some fun pronunciation stuff in the sentence. It'll will sound like it'll, it'll, it'll. Same sound as in little, little, little. Hard to produce. It's a quick flap of the tongue. Uh, I do, I want to practice this last slide. She says this very quickly, and there are many unstressed syllables. Um, so let's just say this one a couple times. Uh, 
It's just going to have to stay in, that's all. Everything will be the same. It'll just stay in. It just have... Hold on. It's just going to have to stay in, that's all. Everything will be the same. It'll just stay in. Nice, nice. Um, let's, this definitely contracts, so let's represent that. Everything will be the same. That'll reduce a little bit to stay. Um, good, that's a tough line. Sounded nice. Uh, let's just maybe put a little more emphasis on not to. I am not doing that. I'm not doing that. Very nice. She's expressing, expressing her extreme emotion with special emphasis. All right, Ross, back to you. Carol, honey, shh, shh. Everything's going to be all right. Good. Uh, we've already got lots of reductions represented. I guess my only note is uh, a lot of times this L just sounds like another R. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Good. Uh, all right. Anna Carolina. Oh, what do you know? No one's going up to you and saying, Hi, is that your nostril? Mind if we push the pot roast through it? <laughs> Great. Um, and she is getting hysterical here. Teacher. Yeah. I don't I don't know the meaning of nostril. I don't I don't get yeah. what you rose through. Yes, great. I'm so glad you asked. This is a wonderful image. Um, nostril refers specifically to the hole in your nose. Um, and a pot roast is a very large piece of meat. <laughs> Uh, so imagine pushing, actually let's get an uncooked pot roast so you can see how it, really pretty big. There, this is a good image of it, pot roast. Um, so imagine, he's, she's making a, an analogy that childbirth is like pushing a, no, pushing a pot roast through a nostril. Um, does that make sense? Yes, my mouth does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so we have a case of special emphasis here. She's screaming at Ross specifically. So she's going to emphasize you. Um, what do are really going to come together and sound kind of like, what do you know? What do you know? So, uh, oh, what do you know? Give that a try. Oh, what do you know? Oh, what do you know? Good. Um, good. So lots and lots of emphasis on you. Um, no one's going up to you and saying, we're going to, this is, we already see the reductions pretty much and we're running out of time. Um, so I think we're going to leave the rest of the line. Uh, let's go back to Susan. Next line. Carol, Carol, sweetie, please and breathe. I know it's frightening, but it's big picture. The, bar the birth party is just one day, and when it's over, we're all going to be parents for the rest of our lives. I mean, okay. that's what it's all about, right, Ross? Ross? Great, excellent. Um, so we're just going to pick out a couple things to look at. Um, special emphasis right here. Um, at least one and day are both going to get extra stress and pretty evenly. Just might get a little even. Um, but she's kind of trying to soothe Carol um, by telling her it's not a long time. The birth part is just one day. The bird party is just one day. Good. And then I want to practice this phrase because this is very common. Um, for is going to sound like fur. Of. 
And this is all going to kind of smash together, so it'll sound like, for the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. Good, good. Stress on those words. Um, great. And this one sounded really good. This is all about, you might, you might contract a little here. This is, but it sounded good to me. Let's move on in the interest of time. Um, this line is going to be easy for you. Let's look at Rachel's next line. And I think that's you, Josie. Okay. This is just occurring to you. Good. Nice intonation at the end. Um, one thing you can do to make this easier, with the word just, the T often disappears. This is just occurring to you? This is just occurring to you? Very good. Sounded good. Um, all right. Herman, Ross's next line. I always knew I was having a baby. I just never realized the baby was having me. Nice. Oh. Oh, you're gonna be great. Good. All right. These two lines, I think, Herman, that was pretty good. I don't really have any comments other than, again, with just, you can... I think you did, but we don't really need that T a a lot of times. Um, Josie, this sounded good. Again... Gonna is already reduced from going to. Um, so, come on, next line. And how can you say that? I can't even get Marcel to stop eating the bad mat. How am I going to raise the kid? Good, nice. Um, let's put some extra emphasis on say. Um, this name comes to us from French, and the stress is on the second syllable, Marcel. Um, and this, the how am, almost contracts to how am. How am I as a kid? Let's do just that one. How am I going to raise a kid? I'm going to raise a kid. Very nice. You know, Ross, some scientists are now saying that that monkeys and babies are actually different. Right. Anna Carolina. Where are you going? Very nice. Really good doubling of the R and redu reduction there. Herman? Out. <laughs> good. We've yes. All right. Could I just ask you one question? Have you two, you know, like, you know, you know, yet? Well, not that it's any of your business, but no, we haven't, okay? You mean sex, right? <laughs> good, good. Um, excellent, all of you. I just want to, we, Anna, you did this reduction very nicely. I just want to comment uh, or make it explicit for everyone. You know is often reduced to just a y sound. You know, you know. Um, and Joey's last line sounded pretty good. You meant sex, right? He's kind of a dummy. <laughs> All right, um, we have one final performance. Does anyone have any questions before the final performance? All right. Um, let's just go for it. Uh, we won't watch again. It's kind of a longer scene. Um, so, everyone. Places, please. Lights, camera, action. A sound mom and dad never forget. For this, after all, is the miracle of birth. Lights, please. And that's having a baby. Next week is our final class. 
Susan, go deep. This is impossible. It is just impossible. What, honey? What that you woman did? I'm not. I'm not doing that. It's just gonna have to stay in. That's all. Everything will be the same. It'll just stay in. Carol, honey, shh, shh. Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, what do you know? No one's going up here to you and say, "Hi, is that your nostril? Mind if I push this pot roll through it?" Carol, Carol, sweetie, please be brave. I know it's frightening, but Big, big picture, the birth party is just one day, and when it's over, we all gonna be parents for the rest of our lives. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Ross? Ross? I'm gonna be feather. This is just occurring to you? I always knew I was having a baby. I just never realized the baby was having me. Oh, you're gonna be great. Oh, how can you say that? I can never get Marcel to stop eating the bad mat. How am I going to raise a kid? You know, Ross, some scientists are now saying that, that monkeys and babies are actually different. Where are you going? Out. With? Yes. All right. Could I just ask you one question? Have you two, you know, like, you know, you know, yet? Well, no, not that it's any of your business, but no, we haven't, okay? You mean sex, right? And scene. Very good. I really have to get uh, some applause sound effects for this class. Um, and keep them working. Uh, great job, all three of you. Very nice. Um, nice reductions, nice intonation, uh, definite improvement. Great job. <laughs> um, Oscars for everyone, or Academy Awards, if you prefer. I don't know the difference. Is the Oscar the name of the statue that you get when you get your Academy Award? I don't know. All the awards. <laughs> um, great job. I hope you uh, enjoyed this class and I hope it was beneficial for you. Um, and it's ongoing so uh, look for it on a regular basis and join us again next time. Thank you, Stephanie. Alright, bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. See you later.